Hey, when you walk through the doors of our headquarters and you walk into this office, one of the first things you're gonna see is this canvas of our core values, right? Because it's so important to us and it tells everyone, tells the world when they walk in who we are and what we stand for and what we're about. But you see, it wasn't always this way. We didn't have this. Let me take you back two years ago. We had some gentlemen visit our office. I mean, some seven-figure business owners. And we were incredibly excited to have them tour and look around and see all the things that we were about. Well, as we walked them through, they were taking notes, they were looking around, they were super excited to have a conversation about business opportunities. So we walked right in here to my office and we started this conversation. And let me share with you what happened. So we sat down, these two gentlemen sat right here in my office, and I was so excited to hear what they had to share and what their impressions were about our business. But I wanna share with you something that they taught me in that moment that I wished I had learned years ago when I started my business. He looked at me in front of my COO and said, Chaz, I noticed this big poster, and it was he was referencing this. This was at that time our core values, and it was hanging out on the wall in a big poster, and he said, Chaz, I noticed your core values. Your core values lead to your culture, right? Everything that is culture stems from your core values. So I'm wondering, could you recite for me your core values? And it just put me on notice right there. And I, and I stumbled through it. I kind of went through a few, you know, be accountable, be charitable, be positive. They weren't in order. I couldn't remember them. I felt a little humiliated. But the reality was the lesson rang loud and I got it loud and clear. And what he said to me is, Chaz, look, in all the companies I've built, we created a culture based around our core values and there were always four to five, no more than five words that had a statement after that created our core values. I heard that lesson loud and clear and I went and sat down and created it with our team. And what we developed were five words that turned into our core values and then we created this image. They were relationships, improvement, contribution, accountability, and results. These five words embody everything that is Master Networks. It's everything that we do, and it creates the culture for which we operate. And what it allows us to do is then attract and retain talented individuals to join our team that match these values. It allows us to now attract customers that match these values. See, if you wanna create a culture in your business and your company, having a set of core values is a must. Now, I'll be honest. Years ago, I used to think that core values were just sort of foo-foo statements that you put up on a wall that every business had because they had to. You check the box, you've got your core values. What I didn't understand is what I just shared. It allows you to now run your business with a framework that allows you to attract talented people to you. So let me share with you how we do that. Let's say, for example, you're hiring. And let's just say for this example, you're interviewing two candidates, Mike and Jill. See, when you're interviewing, most of the time you interview, and I know I did in the past, I would ask those standard phrased questions of, you know, tell me a great experience you had where you achieved success in your past business or tell me about your biggest failure and how you overcame it. And what you have to understand is candidates are smart. They walk in the door, they're already prepared for those types of questions. They know you're gonna ask it. But what would happen is if you asked questions around your core values to uncover and discover how they fit your values? How would now your interviewing process be different? How would you now be able to attract and retain talented individuals that meet your values. So this is how we do it. We call it our core value scale. And we do it on a scale of zero to five. So when I interview Mike, I'm gonna ask him questions around relationships. Because you see, we believe you're just one relationship away from changing your future. And everything I have in my life of any significance has come through a relationship. So if you're somebody that doesn't value relationships, you probably won't fit in our environment. So I ask questions around relationships. What are the most important relationships to him, right? And then I rank that. He, he values and has great family relationships and tons of friends, so that's important, right? Improvement. We believe in constant improvement. And we understand that in this improvement, if he's the type of person that's always looking to grow, then I'm gonna put, hey, he's a five right here. Now, as I continue to go through this, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for future trainings just like this. Understanding contribution, I can ask questions, accountability, results, right? So I'm gonna rank right here, three. Now I get to Jill. Let's say Jill's a five relationships. She's totally about improvement, loves to contribute. You know, accountability, results, those aren't really important to her. For me, my standard is anything less than three is an immediate disqualification, immediate. I'm probably not gonna fix that, I'm probably not gonna change that, and in fact, it's gonna cause me more challenges once I bring her onto the team. Now, I probably, in my second interview, will have someone who now works and interviews Mike so that they, they then 
get their numbers. And maybe when they go through it, it's a four, it's a three, it's a five, it's a three, and it's a three. Now I'm gonna compare the two and have that discussion because it's really important that we're all aligned on this. I want you to consider this for just a moment as you go to hire. If you have a set of core values, if you put those out and make them public, now you can also find clients that match your core values as well. Just envision for a moment, you have a team that's completely aligned with your values. You're putting that out to the marketplace. Now you're gonna be able to attract the kind of customers that you want to work with, that you're excited to work with. And trust me, as you do this, and as we have, we now have people reaching out that wanna work here versus us going out and saying, hey, we're hiring. They come to us and say, would you create a place for me to work, uh, a job for me so I can work in this environment? Why? Because what it creates is culture. That's the culture. You do that because you have a strong core value and core values that you live by, that you preach and you teach. So again, if you like this, subscribe to the channel and, and watch for us on our next video.